Greetings. My name is Shujat Ali and I am from Medicos Lectures by Shujat. And today we are going to talk with you anatomy and osteology of patella bone in detail. Patella bone is also known as kneecap. And it is the bone, largest sismoid bone developing in quadriceps femoris. Having a two borders, two surfaces and apex and a base. Not talking about the side determination that how to determine the side of patella. In this case, this is the patella. So for side determination, we have to put this patella on a flat surface. I have patella right now. So I have to put this patella on a flat surface in such a way that the apex is facing opposite to you and base is facing towards you. So the surface which is clearly touching the ground, this is the surface that is touching the ground. So it is our that side of patella that, that is touching the ground. If right surface is touching the ground, we say that it is our right patella. If left surface is touching the ground, we say that we have a left patella right now. Talking about the apex, this region in this bone is apex, this is base, this is medial border and this is lateral border. In the same way this is anterior surface and from the below we have a posterior surface. Not talking about the apex. Apex is going to connect with the tuberosity. It connects the tuberosity with the patellar ligament. Talking about the base, this superior portion is base and base is connected with two muscles. It gives attachment to two muscles. One is rectus femoris and the other one is vastus medialis muscle. And the medial border, it gives insertion to the vastus medialis and this lateral border, it gives insertion to the vastus lateralis. Now talking about the surfaces of patella bone. We have two surfaces. This is our anterior surface. This is our posterior surface. On anterior surface, we have a bursa. We know that bursa as propatellar bursa. And this bursa is basically for the synovial articulation of skin. And on the posterior surface, if my friend zoom, we have a two condyles, lateral and medial condyle on posterior surface. They are for the articulation with corresponding uh, condyles of femur. Talking about the clinical correlates of patella. So we have two clinical correlates. First is exostosis, in which already developed bone, a new bone is start developing on that bone, that bone is already developed. And our second clinical correlates is Sinding Larsen syndrome. And this syndrome is basically due to the continuous propelling, due to the continuous hit on the ligament and on the patellar ligament. So we say that the hit is going to cause a Sinding Larsen syndrome. And these are basic lecture on anatomy of patella bone. Hope you all understand it well. Don't forget to subscribe to Medicos Lectures by Shujal. Thank you so much.